welcome back to another video of master IV fluid course and as you know we're still at the question number two what kind of IV fluid I should use and as I explained we're gonna stop for a while at this question because now we're introducing all these types of solutions and today as you see this is our lovely container with one liter of free water and today we decided to do the following mixture we're gonna add sodium at 130 milli equivalent gonna add chloride at 109 we're going to add some calcium at I think 2.5 and we're gonna add also lactate 28 milli equivalent so this is a different type of solution because this is the first time we add lactate also we're gonna add potassium let me just put it here 4 milli equivalent of potassium so we have 130 milli equivalent of sodium 109 milli equivalent of chloride 4 milli equivalent of potassium 2.5 milli equivalent of calcium and 28 milli equivalent of lactate to calculate the osmolarity of this solution you just simply say okay 130 one thirty plus 109 plus 4 plus I think 2.5 plus 28 and I think this will be around I don't have a calculator but will be around 270 I think milliosmol per liter and this is pretty close to 290 milli is small per liter which is the body osmolarity so this solution is isotonic okay which means as we talked free water is minimal and that means also this solution has tendency more tendency to stay extracellular and specifically uh, intravascularly so it's really good for resuscitation because it will stay some of the intra uh, intravascular in the intravascular space and see the lactate things here lactate when it's infused in the body you wonder oh lactate is that lactic acid no lactic when you infuse it and the body lactate become bicarb so this will call a buffer so because of this risk of hyperchloramic metabolic acidosis is minimal if any because you have this buffer so you don't see a lot of you will not see hyperchloramic metabolic acidosis with this kind of solution could it cause increase in sodium like hypernatrium because minimal free water it's possible okay now because this solution has lactate we decided to call it lactated ringer lr also you notice the difference between lactated ringer and normal saline the potassium but the amount of potassium is very minimal 4 milli equivalent which means to give 40 milli equivalent you need 10 liters of lactated ringer just to give 40 milli equivalents so that very minimal amount of potassium should not make you concern much about the possibility of hyperkalemia of course if somebody hyperkalemic already it makes sense not to use it although the effect is very minimal but it makes sense to use just normal saline but don't worry this is very minimal don't know why they call it surgical solution but i've seen it in my practice all surgeons order this they don't like to order normal saline i don't know if it's a concern about uh, the acidosis and hypernatremia it's possible uh, but this is lactated ringer solution so it's it's similar to normal saline the 0.9% normal saline that it's isotonic and the free water is minimal tendency to stay extracellularly 
but the difference is the risk minimal risk of acidosis the hyperchloremic acidosis and it can cause hypernatremia although more we see it more with normal saline so the risk of hypernatremia is less than normal saline so that's lactated ringer i'll see you next video thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board